Hello and welcome to round 13 here on the MXGP grid for the qualifying here in Lockett. And I want to speak to Christoph Charlier, it's just to my right. Hi Christoph, how are you? Good. Uh, Christoph, this track is actually quite a good track for you, isn't it? Because I know last year when you were in the MX2 class, you got your best result of the season, third overall, you won a race here. What is it about this track, do you think, that plays into your hands? Uh, I like this, tra this track because it's like uh, the ground is like uh, in Corsica, it's a hard pack and uh, I, I have a great memory here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I like, I like this track. Now, unfortunately for the MX2, it actually caught a lot of the guys out. So what's the plan of action? Because to get a good start, it's not necessary on the first gate, is it? Yes, I think uh, all the place is uh, it's good for the, for the start. And uh, the, the start is very important for this week. Okay. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Christophe Charlet there. Now I want to speak with Jeremy Van Horbeek. Uh, he's over here somewhere. There he is, he's just on his bike. Jeremy won here last year as well. Uh, so it's actually a good track for him. Uh, he's just speaking to his mechanic there. Sorry, excuse me. Hi Jeremy. Um, I spoke with you on Friday yesterday and you were telling me just how well you know this track here in Lockett. You know it with your eyes closed, you said. What is it about this track, do you think, that is so good for you? Because I know you won here last year. Uh, you know, I like it when it's sliding and uh, like now it's, it's pretty dry so, uh, you know, it's sliding a lot with those little stones in and uh, that, that's what I like uh, on this track. At the moment it's not so rough so I hope uh, for tomorrow it's going to get a bit more rough so, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling good, it's slick uh, so all good. It's pretty windy, the wind's picked up since the first MX2 race, does that make a difference? Yeah, you know, the, when they put some water, you know, the track is drying a lot quicker so... You know, it's 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 really uh, dry the track at the moment with the wind, and um, that makes it a bit more difficult, but um, still okay. okay. Well, good luck. Thanks for that, Jeremy. Time now for the MXGP qualifying. Commander Sal just eyeing up the start straight in his first race back from injury on his Rockstar Energy Suzuki, but looking quite relaxed all the same. What about Roman Fevre arriving here as a championship leader? knowing that Antonio Cairoli, his closest challenger, will not be lining up on the gate due to his recent arm injury. Gregory Aranda, a wild card rider this weekend. He'll be hoping to get a good start in the qualifying race. So too Jeremy Van Horbeek, Yamaha factory racing Yamalube, the winner here last year. The gate dropped, down into turn one and on board here with Gauthier Paul and Demont Sal just pushing riders wide but it was Glenn Koldenhoff who emerged at the head of the field as they charge down into turns one and two. Fevre sneaking down the inside at the first opportunity as Gauthier Paul and was pushed back to third. A fast circuit, hard, dry and slick as well as the riders charge downhill for the first time. But it was Koldenhoff who led the way. February second, Paul Ann was third. Tommy Searle, DeSalle and Sean Simpson with Guineri just behind them in seventh on the TM. The wind really starting to pick up out on the circuit. Making conditions pretty difficult for the riders. A fast drying racetrack but also very dodgy over some of the jumps as well. Nathan Watson a little bit further back just behind Benkson. He was uh, down in 17th at that time. But Roman Fevre, just ahead of Gauthier Paulin, found his way around the outside of Koldenhoff and then neatly cut back to the inside, got on the gas. And as they crested the hill, it was Roman Fevre who led on lap two. Koldenhoff being pushed back to second there, 259 on the Rockstar Energy Suzuki. Roman Fevre though, looking good in the early stage of the race. Paul and third, Tommy Sell fourth, DeSalle fifth, Simpson in sixth on the Itachi Revo KTM. Then Philippards, Strybos and Van Horbeek. Meanwhile, back at the front, Gauthier Paul and got right on the rear wheel of Koldenhoff. He tried to square off at the end of pit lane, then had to go again, but he was able to make this pass into the bottom right hander to secure second position on lap four. DeSalle was looking good, looking comfortable in fifth place on his Suzuki, but Christophe Charlier, who fell at turn one, fell again down to 26th on the 24 MX Honda. No such problems for 
the 4 6 1, the championship leader. Yamaha Factory Racing, Yamaha Loops, Roman Fevre. Looking at ease on the hard, slick conditions as we've seen so often this year already. Simpson going after the 25 of DeSalle. And there's a real freight train going on behind him as Charlier rejoined the race. Would eventually come home in 26th position though. Gauthier Paulin was around 8 or 9 seconds behind Roman Fevre, but looking good in second position, as was Koldenhoff in third. But Philippart, Strybos, Van Horbeek and Bobrashev all duking it out in the mid part of the race. Dean Ferris kicking up a rock off the back of his Wilvo Nastan Husqvarna right into the lens of our GoPro. But it didn't stop Nathan Watson finding a way past the Australian up into the tight right-hander. That put him up into 13th place. But what do you do about a problem that is Roman Fevre? Well, Gauthier Paulin tried to keep his fellow countrymen in his sights. But in the qualifying race, just didn't seem to have the answer. Todd Waters, though, charging down the inside of David Philipparts. That got him up into 10th place. As Simpson continued to push onto the rear wheel after Sal and Tommy Searle. To Sal, got back in contention of the 100. Searle on the KTM thought he'd found a way through at the end of the straight into turn two, but Searle just had enough of an advantage to squeeze the Suzuki back and keep him there in that fifth place. As Fevre continued to pull clear of Paul Ann and Koldenhoff. They were your top three. De Salle started to drop back though in the closing stage of the race. Simpson finding a way through and then it was a battle of the Brits. The Scot finding his way past Tommy Searle who was reluctant to let the KTM rider through at the top of the hill but had no choice in the end. Simpson got himself up into fourth. Searle was down in fifth. And Jeremy Van Horbeek in the closing stage of the race got himself into sixth with a pass on Clermont de Sau. Despite closing in on Colton Off, Sean Simpson wasn't able to find a way through and would have to settle for fourth. It was Roman Fevre who crossed the line to take his second qualifying race win of the season. Paul Lamb was second, Colton Off third. Simpson fourth, Sell was fifth. Roman Fevre, congratulations. Second pole position of the season. But you were pretty much riding around solo, weren't you? you were, was it quite lonely out there for you? No, no, you know, uh, yeah, the start was not so good. Uh, yeah, it was good, but when I shifted the third, uh, I lost some times. And then, uh, yeah, everybody came on the front. And I cut really short the first corner, and I was second. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, I make maybe one or two laps behind the gold enough. I find some good lines and then just uh, I pass him and then I rode like uh, like I was on the training. So uh, yeah, I pull away and uh, it's uh, yeah definitely good for tomorrow. Uh, we need to take a good start again and uh, we'll be good. Good luck, thank you. Go to Poland, second today in qualifying. It looked quite easy for you to pass Koldenhoff, but you just couldn't get past Febra. How tough was it out there? Uh, you know, uh, Roman was fast and uh, it's only the qualifying race, so. I mean, he had no sen there is no sense to, to give 100%, but uh, definitely the track was uh, was dry and, and kind of hard packed, so it was tough to, to make the difference, you know. Every we could see on the, la on the time qualifying, on the lap time, that everyone was in the same second, so it is pretty pretty hard, but uh, the place on the gate is not so, so important, so it's always good to have a good feeling, good sensation at the, at the qualifying race, but uh, but there is some good spot on the gate for tomorrow. Anyway, you know, my feeling is really good with the HRC Honda, so we'll see. Good luck for the race. Thank you. Thank you. Going cold and off third today in qualifying here at the Czech Republic. Best quali of the season for you, isn't it? Just tell us, because you had a good start, but you just couldn't quite keep up there, could you? No, um, I pulled the whole shot again, you know. Uh, I think Science Lafia, uh, I know how to do it. And um, But anyway, the, the riding was a little bit tired, got a little bit on pump. We changed some settings for, for the qualifying heat, but um, I'm going to change it back uh, before I felt better. So. Um, Hope tomorrow for two good starts again and, uh, you know, for looking for a solid result. Best of luck. Thank you.